So for dental anatomy, you're learning the line angles. Let's make it simple. Think of each tooth as a box. Now let's add some directional terms. So we have mesial, we have distal, we have lingual, we have buccal. Because I'm using buccal, this is a posterior tooth. Now, whenever we're thinking line angles, we're thinking two junctions meeting together. So right here, this would be the distal lingual. Again, we're always starting with distal or mesial. This would be the mesial lingual, distal buccal, all of them followed by line angle. Now, since this is a posterior tooth, the top will be referred to as occlusal. So this would be the distal occlusal line angle, bucco occlusal line angle. Now, what if it was an interior tooth? So now when we're thinking of an interior tooth, instead of the occlusal, we're thinking incisal. Instead of buccal, we're thinking labial for lips. So this portion would be the mesio incisal line angle. This would be the labio incisal line angle. Now you guys got it. Like and subscribe. This is Chase Rebordi with the game plan for your academics.